Hey guys, my name is Kevin Gonzalez, and I'm going to show you how to get light to work with sprite objects in Unreal Engine 4. If you're like me, you've probably seen the lack of resources for 2D and lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the process from start to end how to get this to happen. So let me go ahead and open up a new level. Sure, I'll go ahead and save that. Now, it's pretty simple once you know what you're doing. But, again, there's not really too much out there to show you. Now, here's that same image, but without the normal mapping and light material, or default material, to help you show what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a point light. Now you see the light is not affecting it in any way, no matter what we add the intensity to, right? So let's go ahead and dive into this. And so the main problem and why this doesn't work is that the default material is set to mask unlit sprite material so yeah of course unlit means it's not gonna light up right now what you want to use is default lit sprite material okay now there's two because I made my own and the, which is in my game content folder and the one that you will see is here which you'll see paper 2d now if you don't see this You'll have to go to view options and go to click on show plugin content. See, it disappears besides the one I made and then it comes back. Now go ahead and click that and you'll see in the view that it turns all black, which is fine. If you want to see it still, you can go to unlit and you'll see it that way. Now let's go back to see what it looks like in the editor in the view. Now you see it's affecting it. Nice, right? That's simple. But you see how there's a lack of detail? All the cracks and everything, you're like, oh. I mean, it, it still looks like a flat image, except that it's lit up. So, I mean, it's, it's good, but not as great as we can make it. So let's open up the image. And now what you want to do is go to additional textures the array element and then click the plus sign add array open it up double click that or this and now you have an empty slot so what you want to do is you want to get your open up the folder or well so what you want to do is you may want to make a normal map for this object now right here I seem to be missing it so let's go to, let's go ahead and navigate and find this. So, should be here, wall two, wall two. Okay, so now we add the wall two to this. Just click and drag, bam, that's simple. Now let's go ahead and save, and let's see the, the detail. Ooh, look at that. There's now dents in here, bam, very nice. Go ahead and click it. Ooh, now it's looking like a cave wall. And all you have to do is just move it. You can adjust the light back. Increase it if you want. Bam. See how the light's affecting everything? All from just adding the normal map. Bam, that's simple. Now, the other problem that you're going to have is... So, let's go... Now, when you drag a 2D flipbook to the project, it's not really going to, the light's not going to affect it. Even if you go to each one of these individually and add their, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and just do that. All right. Just for, just for reference, default lit, add it, add this, add the normal. You're going to want to do this for every single one. It's it's pretty 
repetitive, but right now it's pretty much the only way that you're going to be able to get this to happen. Alright, so let's go to every single one. Just open them all up. Alright. Now we can we can view this one. Oh, see this one? The one we added the normal map to? It's working. But the flip book, which has this in there, it's not lighting up. Right? So let's go ahead and fix all these all these up. We'll save this one, close it, default lit. Bam. And when I found the easiest way is to just open up all the files and then open up your folder with the normal maps. That way you could just boom. Save it. Close. Default lit. Boom. Add a plus sign. Throw that in there. Boom. Save it. Quit. And do this for every single one. I know it's a little frustrating. I wish there was more support for this. But once you get it, once you get it in, once you get it all applied, it makes your sprites look so amazing for just just a little bit amount of work. And if you want to get these normal maps, uh, the the project or the Let's see. There's there's just there's multiple softwares that you can use. There's free ones. There's just a bunch of different software that you can use to generate normal maps, and they all pretty much have sliders. And you know, it's a lot of work, but it helps you get it helps you utilize all the lighting and all the different types of process post processing all of that it all starts to work with 2d objects which I found was the hardest thing to get working there's lack of material googling it it's hard to find the answer there's even uh, small indie studios that have a hard time getting this to happen so hopefully this will help you guys out all right so bam got this working this still not working right uh, so what you want to do let's go ahead and turn this back down to 25 or 2500 we'll do 50 50,000 all right so this each one of these individually work See, the light affects them, but it's not working in the paper flipbook, which is also a problem. So what you want to do is open the paper flipbook. You know, get it all set how you want to. But right here, there's another default material, which applies its own material to the flipbook, even though the sprites have their own materials assigned to them. So what you want to do is, again, add the default sprite material mapping to it. And voila! Now the paper flip books are affected by light and there you go that's all it's that simple all right guys thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them in the comment section thanks